Hello language learners! Today I want to start with a simple question. What things do we learn first when we start to learn foreign language? What kind of vocabulary? Well, first we learn something to describe ourselves. We learn how to say our name, nationality and so on. And then we start to learn how to describe the world around us. So we learn something about the weather, we learn seasons and days of the week. I personally love days of the week and I think it's so interesting how much they are interconnected in different languages. I've learned them in English, German, Spanish and for sure I know them in Russian. And I really wanted to know the origin of those words and I read about them and I summed up the information and now I want to share that with you. Seven days of the week were mentioned already in the Babylonian calendar, but most of the sources agree on the fact that they got their names and become really widespread and popular thanks to Romans and Latin language. From the ancient times, days of the week were associated with the planets. And now I will give you examples and you will see it yourself. First of all, I should mention that in old Christian tradition, Sunday was the first day of the week. I know that in some cultures, in some places, it's still common, but I guess it's still more common for all of us to start the week from Monday. So in this video, I will refer to Monday as the first day of the week, Tuesday the second one, and so on. We will start with the days of the week in Spanish. Is there any reason why we'll start with Spanish? Actually, there is a reason. This language is one of the languages that preserved a lot of the features of the Latin language that will make it easier for us to understand the logic. First day of the week in Spanish is lunes and it came from the Latin word luna that means moon. So lunes is the day of the moon. Second day. Second day of the week is martes. Can you guess the planet? Martes? Yeah. The second day of the week is called after the planet Mars. Martes is the day of the Mars. Third day of the week, Miércoles. Miércoles? Which planet? Miércoles is named after Mercury. So, Miércoles, the day of Mercury. Fourth day of the week is called Jueves. This one is a bit more tricky, but if you look at the written form, you can still guess the planet. Jueves is the day of Jupiter. Fifth day of the week is Viernes and Viernes called after the planet Venus. The planet is Venus. So Viernes is the day of Venus. Day number six, Sabado. Sabado is called after the planet Saturn. So Sabado is the day of Saturn. And day number seven, Domingo. What planet is Domingo? This is a tricky one. Domingo is not a planet. Domingo is the exception. This day of the week is called after the Latin phrase Lord's Day, meaning God's Day. Okay, Spanish preserved quite some features and vocabulary from the Latin, but what about the days of the week in English? Are they also called after the planets? Well, some of them are. But let's start from the beginning. Monday. Monday is called after the planet. It's called as in Spanish after the moon. Just it comes not from the Latin but from the old English word that means moon day. Second day is Tuesday. As you remember in Spanish, second day was connected with Mars. Tuesday, Mars. Seems like no connection. But there is a connection. Mars is not only the name of the planet, it's also the name of the god, the god of war. And as you know, in different mythology, the same god can have the different name. So in Roman it was Mars and in Greek it was Ares. And in German mythology, the god of war is Tu. Tu, Tuesday. Yeah, that's an obvious connection. So the second day of the week in English is connected not with the planet Mars, but with the god of war in Germanic mythology. That's interesting. Let's go to the next one, Wednesday. 
Wednesday? Hmm, again, no connection with Mercury the planet. Let's look at the same algorithm as with Tuesday. Let's look at the Mercury as the god. Uh, it was the god of the trade in the Roman culture. And then in Latin, the god of trade was Hermes. Wednesday, Hermes, still no connection. Well, Wednesday bears the name of another Germanic god, Odin or Woden. So finally we can see the connection. Woden's day, Wednesday. Next one is Thursday and Thursday was connected with the Jupiter and Jupiter is the god of thunder. Uh, let's look directly to the Germanic Scandinavian mythology and there the god of thunder is Thor. So Thursday is the day of Thor, the god of thunder. Fifth day of the week is Friday and it's connected with Venus. In Roman mythology, Venus is the goddess of love and beauty. And her name in Germanic Scandinavian mythology is Frigga. Frigga's day, Friday. That makes Friday the only day of the week that is called after the female character. Saturday uses the name of the Roman planet and god Saturn, so no questions there. And Sunday is also quite obvious, the day of the sun. Let's look at the names of the week in German. First of all, the word for the day in German is Tag. So many days of the week will end with Tag. First one, Montag is the day of the moon. Mond is the moon in German. The second day is Dienstag and it's called after the god Thingsus, being known also as Tew. You remember the god Tew, after which the Tuesday was called, right? Third day of the week in German, unlike Montag and Dienstag, is not ending with the word Tag, that means day. It ends with the word Woche, that means a week. And it's called Mittwoch, that can be literally translated as middle of the week, with Mitte translated as middle in German. By the way, before the 10th century, Mittwoch was also called Wodenstag. So you remember Woden's Day, Wednesday? It was also the day of Woden. Fourth day of the week is Donnerstag. And Donner is the word for thunder in German. So again, fourth day of the week is the day of thunder. Fifth day of the week is Freitag. Again, it ends at the Tag, meaning day. And then we have Frei. This means free in German. It kind of makes sense, after Friday you're free, it's the last day of the working week, but it also originates from the goddess we already encountered before. It's called after the goddess Frigga. And finally weekend. Sixth day of the week is called Samstag and it originates from the word Saturn as well. But there is one more theory and it works both for the German Samstag and for the Spanish Sabado and for many others. According to this theory, we got the name of this day of the week from the Jewish holiday that is celebrated on the sixth day of the week and the name of the holiday is Sabbath. And the last day of the week is again an easy one, Sonntag with Sonne meaning sun in German. So again, like Sunday, this is the day of the sun. And now I will explain you Russian days of the week. First of all, I should tell that as in other cultures, we had Sunday as the first day of the week in the past. But nowadays, Monday is the first day of the week. And also some old names. We called our week Sedmitsa in the past and that was just seven days. So we we'll just called the whole week just seven days. And this word is still used in the church language, but not in the everyday life. Uh, and before we called our Sunday Nidela. And nowadays, this is how we call the whole week. The name of the week is Nidela. But before, this was the word to refer to Sunday. And there is a meaning. There's not just the meaningless word, no. Nidela is не делать, that means not doing. So Sunday was the day of the rest, the day when people were not doing things. This is how we got the name. And I should mention that in many other Slavic cultures, they still preserved this name of the week. So they call 
Sunday, something close to the Russian Nidele. I sadly cannot read other Slavic languages, but I will give you here an example and you can see that this is something close to the Russian word Nidele. Let's keep in mind that the old name for Sunday was Nidele and then we will understand the next day of the week. Понедельник. Понедельник, Monday, is понедельник. The meaning is after неделя, after Sunday. Next one is вторник, and the meaning is second day after holiday. So holiday was Sunday, Monday was the first day after the holiday, and Tuesday is the second day of the holiday. The second in Russian is второй, so вторник is второй day after the holiday. Third day of the week is called среда, and it's connected with the word середина, that means middle. So for us, third day of the week is also like in German, and by the way, as in many other Slavic languages, I will give examples here, uh, is meaning the middle of the week, среда. Next day, четверг. It comes from the word fourth, so fourth day of the week, четвертый, четверг. Пятница. The next one day of the week is пятница, and it comes from the word fifth. Пятый is fifth, so пятница is the fifth day of the week. And now listen attentively to the name of our sixth day of the week. Maybe you can guess where it comes from. The sixth day of the week in Russian is суббота. Суббота. Yeah, it also originates from the name of the Jewish holiday, Sabbath. In Russian we call it Shabbat, so if you change sh into s, Shabbat, Sabbat, Subota, it makes sense. And finally, last day of the week. I told you that we called it Nidele in the old times, but nowadays we call it Воскресенье, and it comes from the word Воскресенье, that means resurrection. So the last day, the seventh day of the week for us nowadays is the day of resurrection of Jesus. I just told you about the days of the week in four different languages and I want to encourage you to learn the origin of the words of your own language and of the languages that you are learning. It's so mind-blowing, you will see so many connections and all of the languages are somehow interconnected. So just keep learning languages, discover new things and see you next time!